Welcome back to another edition of the Rams Roundup for the Fordham men's soccer team. I'm Leighton Schneider, WIPV Sports. The men's soccer team had a heartbreaking loss to UMass in overtime on Saturday. I'm here with coach Jim McKeldry. Coach, that game you lost six minutes into overtime. What what can you take away from that game going into Thursday's game against UMass in the A-10 tournament? Yeah, I think it's uh, a good learning experience for probably both teams on a, on tendencies of each other's uh, play. Uh, it was a tight game, really. I thought it could have gone either way, but I thought UMass played well. So they were playing with some desperation to get into the uh, A-10 tournament. So uh, good for them. And now we get a chance to, to play them again. But it's not so much about them. It's about you know feeling good about ourselves and uh, trying to advance in the A-10 tournament. And in the A-10 tournament, you are the number four seed. Last week, you said seeds really don't matter when it is so tight. Being a top four seed, does that have any difference um in your preparation or your team's mindset i don't think so you know i think it's trying to prepare for your opponent which in this case is umass but again i think for us it's uh you know having a good couple of days of training uh, making sure that we're rested and really ready to go and coming with the right mindset to uh, to compete for 90 minutes or, or more as we saw this weekend and uh you know the old saying of trying to just survive the game in advance and see if you can get on a roll and do you think there's any more pressure on your team being the reigning A-10 tournament champions? I don't think it's pressure, but I think it does help in the fact that we've been here, we've done that, and uh, guys have experience and understand how to prepare for potentially you know, three games in, in four days, but more so just worrying about the first game. And if you prepare well and you play well, can you get through that game and then rest and recover and get ready for the next game? Uh, our women's team had an unbelievable run this, this past weekend, so uh, hopefully we can follow suit with them and, and try to get ourselves uh, to the next round. And you've had tremendous success on the, in the A-10 schedule on the way. You only have one loss, which was to UMass on the road. Does that put any more confidence into your guys' heads going uh, down to George Mason? You know, I think so. I, I've been really happy with how the guys have prepared and been on the road and, and taking care of themselves and really taking each game as a, you know, as a real kind of business trip, so to speak. You know, the guys really concentrate, whether it's pregame meetings or just eating correctly. All those little details make a big difference. So, yeah, I think it's been a, a real positive for our team that we've been able to go on the road, play some good teams. You look at some of the teams we've played on the road, uh, and, and they're in the A-10 tournament. So, um, you know, it should, be a, it should be good preparation and confidence that we can go on the road and win games. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Up next, I'll have sophomore defender Matt Lewis. Welcome back. I'm here with sophomore defender Matt Lewis. Matt, you lost a heartbreaking game to UMass on Saturday in overtime, and you now you're going to face that team again on Thursday. What will that game teach you about that team? Um, it, it gives us a lot of information about them, how they're going to play and how they're going to press us and things like that. So um, this game this week is a big opportunity for us to have a good start to the tournament and uh, hopefully get rolling and go for the repeat. And you guys are the reigning uh, A-10 tournament champions. Does that put any more pressure on you guys? Uh, maybe a little bit, but I think for us it's just it's motivation um, to go in there and perform at a high level and hopefully come out with another win. Uh, other teams obviously are going to be out for our head, but I think we just got to use that to our advantage. And you guys are traveling down to JMU, uh, George Mason, I'm sorry, and you guys have had phenomenal success on the road in the A-10. Will that play any factor into your guys' performance? I think it will. I think uh, we got confidence on the road. We um, obviously had a good record this season, only one loss, and that was in overtime. So I think uh, it, will play, it will play to our advantage. Um, we've been there before, so I think it'll be good. And in your top half of the bracket, you guys have George Washington and VCU, two teams you haven't faced off against. All your preparation is going into Thursday's game, but does that have any change um, going into Friday if and when you guys win? Um, once we get there, we'll, we'll, we'll establish what we need to do. But right now, yeah, like you said, it's just getting, getting to the game on Thursday, getting past the game on Thursday. And then once we get there, we'll go from there. But I'm, I'm sure our preparation will change. And... Uh, but like I said, we can't we can't think too far ahead. We gotta get one win first. So, okay, thank you and good luck, Matt. Thank you. That'll do it for this edition of the Rams Roundup for the Fordham men's soccer team. The men's soccer team travels down to the A10 tournament, and their first game will be against UMass on Thursday at two. All games will be streamed live on the A10 digital network. For WFUV Sports, I'm Leighton Schneider. See you next week.